those of you who have been watching me for a while, you probably have already noticed the upgrades within my past few videos, actually probably like my past 10 videos because I've been taking advantage of having this nicer backdrop. I figured I'd make a dedicated video where I talk about the actual items that I got for this productive minimal desk setup. It's also pretty affordable. I didn't want to spend too much money. And this is really my first ever desk that I actually, not first desk that I built, but actually a desk that I really like that I built. The ergonomics of a desk setup is probably the most important aspect of your creative space, at least in my opinion. I spent most of my YouTube career editing videos in the most unusual places that aren't ergonomically friendly or good for my posture. I've been in the market for a more configurable and modular desk setup for quite some time and the reason it took me so long to upgrade my old desk setup is because I don't live very close to Ikea and let's face it, that's probably the best place to get a modern customizable desk that doesn't break the bank. By no means is this the final phase of my desk setup. I plan on making a few upgrades in the future, but for now, this is my setup. The lone monitor in this setup is the Dell U2717D IPS Full HD monitor. The viewing experience is great. It has an infinity edge display, 16 by nine ratio, and matches the resolution of my MacBook Pro. After hours of research, I stumbled upon Dell's Ultra Sharp series and in terms of modularity, functionality, and affordability, I really couldn't find a better option. I wanted a monitor that had a minimal build quality that doesn't take up too much desk real estate and also is easy to mount on an arm. You can purchase this monitor on sale for $299. I purchased mine for about $50 less open box, which is a great price considering the fact that the regular price is well over $500. The desk itself is an IKEA Linmon 47 by 23 countertop with four Aldis, I apologize if I'm butchering these names, but with four Aldis legs mounted to the bottom of the countertop. The countertop is 22 bucks, which is a great price. It really doesn't get any cheaper than that and the legs cost four bucks each. So the desk cost me around $40 after tax. The mouse I'm using is the Logitech MX Master 3, easily the best mouse you can get as a creator or programmer. I have a full video review linked below, but my favorite features are how ergonomical it is, the infinite scroll wheel, carbon fiber material, enhanced button placement and customization. I can also connect the MX Master 3 with up to three devices. Special thanks to Logitech for sending me over this mouse along with the MX Keys keyboard. The MX Keys is my favorite keyboard along with the Master 3. I actually have two sets of this device, which is why you don't see the palm rest that I do recommend purchasing because I use it for my everyday job. Needless to say, this is one of the best keyboard options you can have as a programmer. The keys are very reliable. The shape of the keys fit perfectly with my fingertips, which makes the typing experience tremendous. The build quality is minimal and sleek, which is perfect for someone like myself who prefers a minimal setup and is a full-time software developer where it's almost impossible to not have a cluttered desk at work because of all the different laptops and monitors. I also really enjoy the ambient light sensors that know when I am away or not using the keyboard which triggers the keyboard to turn off the illuminated keys and vice versa when it senses me approaching the keyboard expect a dedicated review for this keyboard soon you can purchase the mx keys and mx master 3 for 199 together or 99 bucks each i have a few desk accessories that i also purchased from ikea which are these fake plants don't worry i'll be going to the plant store soon to get a real desk plant i also purchased a nordmark wireless charger which has been a great accessory for me to charge my wireless AirPods charging case and iPhone 11. And you can pick this up at Ikea for $17.99. In the corner of my desk is the Blue Yeti microphone. I purchased this a few months ago because I wanted to produce higher quality videos using voiceovers, especially for videos like this where there are a lot of B-roll segments and my Rode mic just wasn't cutting it. I'm not really in the desk speakers, but still a necessity. The desk speakers that I have are the Logitech Z213s and they also include a subwoofer. 
These compact multimedia speakers have solid sound, but most importantly, they don't take up a lot of desk space. And as you can see, I don't have a ton of desk real estate. I don't want my desk in front of the window, but I do plan on getting a wider desk. As you can see, I only have about 60 inches of space between the wall and the window. I purchased these speakers at Micro Center and they're roughly 30 bucks. I also have this funny looking water pitcher that adds some character to my desk. Last but certainly not least is my actual laptop. I have the 2017 MacBook Pro with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. Nothing too fancy, but for now it gets the job done. I do plan on upgrading sometime in the future once the new MacBook Pros release because I heard the new Pros will be more dedicated to creatives. With that being said, that concludes this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to become part of the fam. Also hit that notification bell to know right away when I drop a video. And I will see you all soon. As always, stay blessed. Peace. Yeah.